Now this exercise is fairly simple. You're basically going to be copying images from Google and pasting them into the allotted location right here, the space provided. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my magnifying glass. I'm going to zoom in so I can read what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and close this window over here to the right so we have a little bit more room. Okay, it says complete the following tasks by finding images in Google and pasting them in the spaces provided. So we're going to go through contrast, isolation, placement, convergence, and finally color. Okay, so for contrast, here's basically what you're going to do. You're going to go to Google and you're going to look up focal points contrast and you're going to go to images and you're going to see all these images that deal with contrast for example you've got a red apple against green apples a red triangle against white circles a red square against black squares um, a red square against other squares or a red circle against other squares a red frowny face against yellow smiley faces. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this apple, click it, right click or double tap on a keyboard, copy image, go back to Photoshop, edit, paste, and now I can grab my move tool, move it in place, and if you want you can go ahead and make it a little bigger so it's a little clearer. Click on show transform controls. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit larger, but you don't want it too large where all three of your examples won't fit. I'm going to go ahead and push enter and that's going to lay it down. Now let's talk about isolation. If you go back to Google and look up focal point, focal points isolation, you're going to see examples where things are isolated. For example, you've got these birds on some on a wire. You've got one bird isolated by itself. You've got these dots, these circles that are isolated by one circle here. And then you've got a man in a canoe isolated by himself. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one because this is a really good example. Right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop edit, paste, and I'm going to drag it down to the about right here, go ahead and make it a little bit larger, enter it in, push enter, and now I've got my example for isolation. So you're going to find three examples for each, for each category, and then you'll be able to, to submit. Let's talk about placement. Placement is where things are placed in a composition, focal point placement. So for example, where this tower is placed in the composition, it's sort of on the bottom half of the composition, so it makes that your focal point. Um, where this moon shape, whatever it is, is placed, that makes it your focal point. Where this one red inner tube is placed makes it your focal point. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop, edit, paste. This came in a little bit larger which is a good problem to have, it just means it's got more pixels. I'm going to go ahead and place it here, push enter, and that should do it. So you'll go find two more examples and you'll be good with placement. Now a convergence, we need to talk about that because watch what happens if you just type out convergence. It's going to give you all these different lens, refractions, and convex, and concave, um, objects from distance, all this kind of stuff that we really don't need to worry about because we're not a science class. So I'm going to type out focal points, convergence, art, and then it's going to bring up your convergence. So here's one. Convergence is basically when different lines or elements intersect into one piece. For example, this leaf example. You've got these trees that disappear into the horizon line. You've got what looks like a tunnel disappearing into the horizon as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Right click, copy image. 
go to Photoshop, Edit, Paste. I'm going to go ahead and lay it right there. So remember that you've got to type out Focal Point Convergence Art. Okay, color is one of the more basic ways to achieve a focal point. And it's basically dealing with how things are colored. And it's basically dealing with how things are colored and um, where those colors lie. So for example, I've got um, this blue table with an orange flower. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, copy that. You've also got this red rose up against these white flowers. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop, edit, paste. scale it down and that should do it. So now if you grab your magnifying glass, right click and double tap fit, tap fit to screen, you should have three examples for each section. And then of course you'll go to file, save as, make sure you're saving every few moves you make, save on your computer, go to digital art, I've got focal points exercise, Save. For me, it's going to ask if I want to replace it. I'm going to click yes, and that should do it. So you should be good to go from there. I hope this has been informative. If you have any questions, please contact me. You can email me or send me a message in the uh, Canvas app. I'll take either one. So I hope you're having a great day. hope this was beneficial to you guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.